In this Pixel Lab tutorial, you will learn how to put picture in question mark or any other shape with your Pixel Lab app right on your mobile device. The first thing you need to do is to delete this test and then you create a new test, edit it and put your question mark. You can resize it first to make it accessible. Now you change the font. You change the font. You can choose a uh, chunk five from the default because chunk five has a good question mark. Now that you've add that font, create a shape and bring it to take it to the back. So adjust it first before taking it to the back. Click on take to back. If you don't take it to back, it will affect your design. So make sure you balance the two. To the center to the center yes now you change the color of your rectangle change the color of your rectangle so you go to color go to color after aligning it activate it red will still work for the picture i'm using because red is not part of the image use the color that is entirely different from the image you are using so that when you remove the color it won't have issue issue or any other itch now you need to match the two together first before you apply your texture so now that you've merged it together you need to go to texture texture locate texture click on texture and pick your image the image you want to use so here is it it is not showing very well so you go to texture again and enable click on this enable activate it like this then you can proceed by enlarging this your image a little so this is what you are going to have but that is not all Go to erase color and activate erase color it will pick the white automatically so don't fret pick the eye dropper tool here click on eye dropper to move it to the red part and click the tick button so that's it you can increase the tolerance for you to have ordinary the e image only the image only the image only so that's it you can now change the background color of your design and then you can proceed to whatever you want to do so you can even save it as a png image by selecting transparent now you can save your image you save as image that's png format no background 